Yeah, I'm telling you, Jeff, this I, is I, an I abomination it. because right, look at that proper Bible and read it. These guys are fucked up. We standing on them cones, prophesy like Jonah. Time ain't long if Babylon, so come up out your coma. We standing on them cones. Because it's high time for our sisters to wake up. Hey, sister. Sister over there, can I ask you talk one second? Do you believe in God? Let me ask a question. Do you believe in God? Let me ask a question. This is how you believe in God. Uh, sister, do you believe in God, right? You love God? Alright. Give me the love according to the Bible. Yeah. Alright, I'm going to show you something. What is the love according to the Bible, alright? Because our, our, people, our, our people are saying that they love God, but they will never do what the Bible says. Alright? All right. All right. Why All people say they love God, but they will never do what God is saying. All right. Why yeah. can't the book of First John chapter five verse three. For so this is the love of God that we keep this commandment. The Bible says this is the love of God. This is keep, good. Sister, look at me. Bible says this is the love of God that will keep His commandment. All right. right. Love God. All right. All right. Read it again. For this is the love of God that we keep His commandments. Meaning. Whatever God says, we're gonna do it, right? All right. Yeah. Let's go to um. Let's go to um. Deuteronomy. That's what I thought. Let's go but you're not looking in my eye. Uh, turn to verse five. The book of Deuteronomy chapter twenty-two, verse five. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. So God is talking to the woman, all right? He says the woman shall not wear that which the word pertaineth means belong to a man, all right? All right, we know. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. Sister, say love God. What's the woman's garment? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. A garment is, is an attire. Well, what is a, um, a woman attire? Look! Wait. God's, God's, color, huh? God's color has... I can't hear you. Speak up. God's Speak up. thing has no color. Like, why are you, why are you yeah. doing that? Dressing no, it says, no. What's a woman's um, clothing? What's a woman's garment? Like a dress? Dress and what? Skirt. God's Skirt, thing has bra, no color. Penny, yeah. All right? You look at the woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. So the woman shall not wear that which belong to a man. We done? This God, right? stuff Neither shall is a man sacrilege. put on a woman's garment. Right now. Neither shall a man put on a woman's Look garment. Look at the Bible. A man be wearing a, 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 a it's jet. sacrilege. For all that do so are abomination unto the Lord thy God. You hear that, sister? What is abomination are you talking about? And a, if a man is wearing a dress and a woman is wearing a pant, we done? For all that do so are abomination unto the Lord thy God. God is not here. Are you saying that this is an abomination? Yes. Yeah. I'm telling you, this is an abomination because all right, give me look on. at that proper yeah. Bible and read it. These guys are fucked up. Pay attention here. Pay attention here. Sorry, That's the reason like why I'm standing here. Give me, give me, give me. Sister. All right. All right. First, the book of First Timothy chapter two verse nine. In like manner also that women adorn themselves in modest apparel. Do you understand, sister? Women adorn themselves in modest apparel. Do you understand that? I guess this is a tell you like when you go to the washroom, how do you know the difference? The signs, right? The signs say what? A woman is wearing what? A dress and skirt. Even the washroom knows. <laughs> Yo, just give the sister some space. She wants to hear, she's trying to learn. Don't be going up in her face. Alright? Give her some space to, to hear the word. Yo, hold on, sister. You see what I'm saying? Not want to leave because she can't even listen to me. She's going up in her face. But I have to go. With so some respect to the sister. You see yourself on the side right here? You don't know, respect me. Turn to the Bible. The Bible. Your, um, your, 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 your child of Benjamin. He's going to try Benjamin according to the Bible. So you must wear a dress. I'd like to talk to you the church on the side. side. Because they're not no, teaching according to the Bible. Right we're now. teaching according to the Bible. That's right. We're teaching what God said. Thus saith the Lord. That's right. So sister, do, do they read scripture like this? What are we doing right there? No? The light man also make women do what I'm saying. Read a scripture again. You don't oh, come out. I I want to talk to you The woman shall not win. Sis, you got you got a flyer? Because you know, 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 you know
Uh, so, uh, read on. Uh, not yeah. with body hair or gold or pearls or costly array, yeah. but which becoming high professing godliness and good works. Hear that? So I our sisters should not be wearing internet. pants. I'm here. All right, because it's not it's not pertaining to, unto them. All right, it wasn't what? given unto them. Our sisters are supposed to be wearing dresses and skirt. All right, according but to the Bible. The, the thing is, okay. you got a book of First Timothy right. chapter two verse nine. In like manner also Whoa, that women adorn themselves it. in modest apparel. Oh, so a woman is supposed to be dressing in modest apparel. That's right. right. Dresses and skirt. All right, we done. We done. With shame faceness with shame face about them. Sh the shyness. All right, we done. And sobriety, not with burning hair or gold or pearls or costly array, we done. but which becoming woman professing godliness with good hair. Which, but which becoming woman professing godliness with good works. Yeah, yeah. So what is the good work a woman is supposed to be doing? What is the good work? What is the good work a woman is supposed to be doing? What is the good work? Can someone tell me? What is the good work? Huh? The book of Romans at the same verse 12. Wherefore the law is holy and the commandment holy and just and good. Hear that? And just and good. Can you go over there? No, I understand right here. Yeah, Psalms 2 verse 1. Why are you always reading from the Old Testament, not the New? The book of Psalms chapter 2 verse 1. Why do the heathen rage? Why what? Why do the heathen rage? The Bible says, why do the heathen rage? Why, do, why, why is this white man right here being mad? Why? Read. And the people imagine a oh, vain thing. Wait a minute. And what? And he the people said imagine a vain man. thing. And the people imagine a vain thing. I don't know what he imagined. If he go do something, he gonna do nothing. Why do they heathen rage? I'm gonna tell you why they heathen rage. When, he, when they see the twelve tribes of Israel come back together and stand up in righteousness, that's why they heathen rage. Read it again. Why do the heathen rage? And the people imagine a vain thing. Go to Wisdom of Solomon five verse one. Wisdom of Solomon chapter five verse one. If we were all here cooning selling drugs doing all kinds of wickedness white people will be looking at us like uh that's just a, that's just an everyday thing but now they see us standing up that is a problem that is a problem why is this man raging read wisdom of solomon chapter 5 verse 1 then shall the righteous man stand in great boldness read again then shall the righteous man stand in great boldness the israelites shall stand in great boldness that's right read. Before the face of such as have afflicted him. Before who? Of the face of such as have afflicted him. Before the face of those that are afflicting us, that have afflicted us. That's Lord. right. That's this devil right here. Read. And made no account of his labors. When? In slavery. They have made no account of our labors in slavery. Right. They still benefit they from slavery. Account. Today. I was here to try to join when this they church. It, they shall be and troubled with they terrible fear. Let me. what? When they see it, they shall be troubled with terrible fear. That's why they're raging. That's why they're raging. They see black men standing up for righteousness. Now they mad. They mad. As mad as he as mad as he may be, guess what? He's troubled God, with fear. Holy fucking he is troubled with fear. Read. And shall be amazed. And the strangeness of his salvation. And amazed, you better watch your feet. You don't have step. Watch your step. Watch your step. Read again. And shall be a watch your step. Step up there. Watch your step. Watch your step. Watch your step, or we will forcefully remove you. You think we got Bibles? Because we got Bibles we saw. You got you gonna have another thing coming. You better watch your step. Read again. Just keep your hand right there, man. Read again. When they see it. They shall be troubled with terrible fear and shall be amazed at the It shall be what? And shall be amazed. And shall be amazed, go ahead. At the strangeness of his salvation. At the what? At the strangeness of his salvation. Because it's strange for the white man to find out that in the Bible Christ is black. That's something strange for him. It's strange for this white man to find out that according to the Bible, we are the Israelites. It's strange for him to find out that according to the Bible, he's an Edomite. 
He's from the nation of Edom. His forefather is Esau. And there's no salvation for him. That's strange to him. That's why he's raging. That's why he's mad. Read again. Read verse 2. When they see it, they shall be troubled with terrible fear. That's this man right here. Trouble with fear. Don't worry. Don't worry. He, hey, as long as he ain't touch it. Don't worry. Don't worry. Trouble with fear. You understand? Read. And shall be amazed at the strangeness of his salvation. So far beyond all that they look for. So far. Give me uh, Genesis. Genesis 25. Genesis chapter 25. Give me that. Let's talk about Esau for a second. Let's talk about the so-called white man that's ruling the earth today. That's bound to be destroyed. Let's read about that. Read. The book of Genesis chapter 25, verse 23. Yeah, 25. Verse 25. And the first came out red all over like an hairy garment. The first is Esau. If you know the story about Jacob and Esau, the first came out red. The white man is not really white. He's red. Read it again. And the first came up red all over like an hairy garment. Red and hairy. That's why you call them rednecks. Why? Because the blood shows forth through their skin. Red, they're not red. white. They're red. Read. And they called his name Esau. That's his name. That's his name. Esau is the forefather of the whole Caucasian race. Read. And after that came his brother out. And his hand took hold of Esau's heel. And his name was called Jacob. And his name was called who? Jacob. Guess what? You so-called black man, you're Jacob. That's you so-called right. black women, your forefather is Jacob. You are the Israelites of the Bible. That's right. That's right. That's right. You're, That's right. Right. you're the Israelites. Yo, keep your distance. Don't let it. Don't let it come close to you. Keep your distance. There you go. Bring out the Bible, and sure enough, the wicked will flee. All praises to the Most High. That's Read right. it again. And the, the first came out red all over like a hairy garment. And they call his name Esau. Give me Obadiah. Give me Obadiah. Let's read prophecies about Esau, the so-called white man. Let's read about him. Obadiah, verse 1 or verse 2. Let's read about him. Let's read about it. Verse 1, read. The book of Obadiah, verse 1. The vision of Obadiah. Thus said the Lord God concerning Edom. Concerning who? Concerning Edom. Because Esau's name was changed into Edom. E-D-O-M, which means what? Red. 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 You're not white, you're red. Read. Read again. The vision of Obadiah. Thus said the Lord God concerning Edom. We have heard a rumor from the Lord. Jump down to verse 2. Verse 2. Behold, I have made thee small among the heathen. Thou art greatly despised. Believe it or not, Edomites, the so-called white man, they're despised among the heathen because wherever they go, they bring hell. They bring democracy. They bring homosexuality. That's the white man. That's the so-called white man. Esau. Yeah. Edom. Read it, it again. again. Read it again. Say it again. Behold, I have made this small among man. the heathen. Thou art greatly despised. Because also another way that they're small, guess what? The so-called Caucasian race, the they're smaller in population than anybody in the earth. Right you understand? They're smaller than anybody in the in, as population in the I earth. But how is it that they've come to be so great? How is it though. that they've come to be rulers of the earth right now? Why? Because guess what? They made a pact with Satan. They're the people of Satan. You blacks and Hispanics, you're the people of God. That's so if right. you follow them, guess who you follow? Satan. That's <laughs> right. Read. The pride of thy heart hath deceived thee. The what? The pride of thy heart hath deceived thee. That's what this man has on him. Pride. 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 I am the pride English. of your heart hath deceived thee. Go ahead. Thou that dwellest in the cleft of the rock. Thou that what? That dwellest in the cleft of the rock. Thou that dwellest in the cleft of the rock. You better back up. Back up. Thou that dwellest in the cleft of the rock. When did the white man dwell in the cleft of the rock? When? In the Middle Ages, dwelling in the Caucasus Mountains of Georgia, Russia. Read. Whose habitation is high. Whose habitation is what? Is high. That's why they like to build skyscrapers. Because they like to dwell on high places. Because guess what? The Caucasus Mountains, that's a high mountainous region. Read. That said in his heart, who shall bring me down to the ground? In order for you to say who shall bring me down to the ground, what you got to have? Leadership. Leadership. Or not leadership, rulership. They rule over the earth. That's how they can say, who's going to bring me down to the ground? Shalom.
this. I'm Elton Nathaniel, Israel United in Christ. YouTube likes to shut our channels down, as some of you have noticed, <laughs> ever so often. Subscribing to join IUIC will assure you will always stay connected to our YouTube accounts. We want to do our best to make sure this truth gets up. Please click and join our subscriber YouTube channel called Join IUIC to stay linked to all of our videos. So again, please make sure you subscribe to this Join IUIC channel to get your latest updates on all our YouTube channels. Shalom.